Well, you know, I began this career as a diver first. I started diving in New England waters about 37 years ago. But over those decades, I began to see a lot of degradation. So as a journalist, I felt a sense of sort of duty and a sense of urgency to begin telling stories about the problems in the ocean. Most of my stories these days have a conservation theme or some sort of environmental thread. You know, New Englanders love their ocean, but I often wondered how many people really understood what was going on beneath those waves. I think most people, even if you've lived on a New England beach your whole life, if you haven't been diving underwater, you see this sort of dark ocean out there that's rather ominous and foreboding. And I, I believe that when you see pictures of a place like Cassius, and you've got this, this lush, almost tropical looking kelp forest with amber colors and reds and, and browns, and it's just sort of undulating. You, you get this sense that this can't be New England. This must be some tropical paradise, but it's not. It's right here. It's in our own backyard. I feel a real sense of urgency to tell a story about this very special place that I believe needs to be protected. The ocean is changing here. This is what I've seen around the world, that inevitably people say you should have been here five years ago, you should have been here ten years ago. There were so many more fish, the corals were better. You know, and I'm seeing that in, in New England here as well. A place like Cassius Ledge is, is unique. It's like a fantasy land. It's not like anything else uh, that I can compare it to in New England. In view of the fact that so much of it elsewhere has been depleted, I think makes a strong case for expanding the protection of a place like Cassius Ledge. We've got this one little holdout that's left. Let's not kill it. You know, let's 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 allow it to thrive. Let's give it a little bit more love.